This video is gonna show you how to add a proximity prompt to your swinging door. If you haven't already watched the swinging door tutorial, then you'll wanna watch that first before you learn how to add a proximity prompt to this door. This was thanks to a request from an awesome viewer who said, I'm sure this needs scripts. Is there a way you can add a prompt to the door so you can press E to open and close it just as smoothly? And with this swinging door, it's very easy. Let me show you how. So hold down shift and click all the parts of this existing door already. I have it in three parts. Go ahead and click your move tool and then press control D on your keyboard. It'll duplicate everything. So just go ahead and move it over to our next door opening over here. And this is the door that we're gonna be making swing open. Let's change the door color to like orange or something. And then let's go ahead straight onto this door. Let's add a proximity prompt. And then let's rename that proximity prompt to something like door prompt. And then in our door frame here, we have all of our attachments. And then what we wanna do is over on our door frame that contains the hinge constraint, we wanna take this hinge constraint and then we wanna make it the, the new parent, this door. So on our hinge constraint, just go ahead and click this parent here and your cursor will change. And just go ahead and select your door. And now you can see the hinge constraint has moved into and under the door in the Explorer. So in our hinge constraint, let's go ahead and go to the properties go to the actuator type and change that to servo you can go ahead and turn off the limits enabled now let's go to the servo properties let's make the angular speed like 5 and the servo max torque like 10,000 and then what we're going to do is we're going to use code to manipulate this target angle property so in my server script service I have a script called prox prompt script let's go ahead and open that and this is a very simple script we're using the proximity prompt service from Roblox we've got a function called on prompt trigger and then we've got an event that comes from the proximity prompt service called prompt trigger. Anytime a prompt is triggered, it's gonna connect the on prompt triggered function. And then the function receives two parameters, the actual prompt object and the player who activated that prompt object. So within that function, let's say if the prompt object's name is equal to the door prompt. Remember we named that earlier. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our door, which we're gonna create a door variable. And the door is actually gonna be the prompt object dot parent. Remember, because on our door, we have our door prompt and the parent of this door prompt is the door. From the door, we wanna get the hinge. So let's make a variable called hinge and the hinge is gonna be door dot hinge constraint. And then like I said earlier, we want to manipulate the hinges target angle property. So we're gonna say hinge dot target angle equals 90. And then we'll see where that door angles out. I might get lucky and it'll open the exact way that I want it to. Also, when the door is opening, we wanna disable the prompt so no one can see it again. So we're gonna go ahead and take the prompt object and we're gonna change the enabled property to false. We'll do a task dot delay and we'll say, Mm, after two seconds, let's run a function that will close the door again. So in order to close the door again, we need to make the hinges target angle back to zero. And then we need to enable the prompt again. And so it's very simple. Let's go over this again. When the prompt gets triggered, we're gonna run the on prompt triggered function. We're gonna make sure that our prompt object is actually the door prompt. We're gonna disable the prompt so that way no one else can press it while the door is opening. We're gonna get the door. We're gonna get the door's hinge. We're gonna change the target angle of the hinge to 90 degrees. And then after after two seconds, we're gonna close the door again to zero degrees, and then we're gonna make the proximity prompt enabled again. So let's play and see what happens. So let's run up to our door and we have E to interact. So let's go ahead and interact and let's see if our door opens. So we've triggered the prompt, the door opens, and now it closes just as smoothly as it swung open. And also you can't walk through it unless you go ahead and try to interact with this. And don't worry about all those messages that showed up. That's actually my new notification message system that I'll be doing a tutorial on. <laughs> so yeah, the door opens every time and let's see, it'll push me back back in and then we can't uh, walk through it. So let's go ahead and change some properties of the E prompt so that way it looks a lot nicer. Let's go back to our world, select our door and then let's go to the door prompt and some of the properties we're gonna change, we're gonna change this action text, we're gonna say open. And so we're gonna see open on the action text and then let's go ahead and change the hold duration to like one second so that way they have to hold down the X button on the Xbox or the E button on the keyboard and for one second in order to activate the door. Let's make the max activation distance to 15 
scene. Let's make the object text to door and then let's turn off the requires line of sight. And then let's play this and I believe we'll have a completed door after this. So let's see what our prox prompt looks like and it says now E door open and when we hold down E, now we have to hold it down all the way and the door will open and it should deactivate itself when, while the door is opening and when the door is closing, um, the E prompt comes right back and then we could just go ahead and open the door again. And that's how you make a swinging door proximity prompt in Roblox Studio. Thank you so much for that requested comment from that epic viewer. The code for this will be down in the description.